All right, what's cracking, fools? Welcome to the first ever Don't Blame the System podcast, guys. We're episode one. We got Michael Rivera with us today. He's going to go ahead and join us. We're going to go ahead and talk about some nonsense, talk about some very good sense, and then talk about some funny stuff. So if you just want to stick around for everything, it's going to be very, very, very hilarious. You're going to enjoy it. What's cracking, fool? What's up? What's up, dove guy? What's your name, fool? <laughs> well, my name is... ¿Cómo te llamas? Uh, my real name is Miguel, güey, loco. Todo es la verdad, güey, Miguel. ¿Neta? Simón, that's my name, Miguel. People trip out, you know? I'm like, fuck Oh, yeah, they call you Mike, who? Oh, the Mike, like they say, I have to put my name here, Mike. So Miguel is Mike. Well, yeah, technically. It's that, that's the equivalent, que yo sepa. But I know who's called Michael, and then they can Mike. answer Mike. Yeah, but, yeah. but originally my name is Miguel. So and what does Miguel mean, fool? Miguel. Miguel. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> nah, but... Nah, just Miguel. Yeah, Miguel. That's my original name. And then, but I just switched it. I just put Mike. And then from there, I just put El Barbaro. El Barbaro just came about just being like, cabrón, you know, like, hey, first way, que barro. Like, especially when I'm at work. What are you like, working? Like, at construction, you know? So I do construction? construction? Yeah, I do construction. So, like, like you build houses from the bottom up or que pedo? Uh, I do, I do like uh, framing. I do plumbing. I do electrical, shit like that, you know? Flooring. Plumbing and electrical? Yeah, Simon. Oh, I mean, yeah. Tokens, you can't be mixing it. Sí, los tokens machine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not the grass. But yeah, because so that's how that started. So I'm like, oh, so we, um, I put El Barbaro on the mic. I put Mike, Mike El Barbaro. So that's how that came about. But yeah, mm -hmm. I'm Mike El Barbaro. And what do you, so what, so like, so what you just, you just do construction? That's how you do it? What? Yeah, I do construction. Yeah, but actually what I just do construction. Yeah, and then comedy videos and well, shit like that. Why, what, what the fuck you start making videos? I started making videos like three, uh, three years ago, big thing. Three years ago. Three years ago. Why? Yeah, you're, I, I don't just, know where you know. Just weird or what? You know it's crazy because I trip out too. Like I'm like fuck, I don't know where. But you know it's crazy. I, I just feel like uh, there's a mat. Like I just started like getting comfortable with myself. You know, at the, mm. like three years. And when I say comfortable with myself, I feel like okay, well I feel confident. You know what I'm saying? Like shit like that. So because I feel like when, well I'm thirty, I'm gonna be thirty two this year. But so when I was like twenty, twenty one. I was very shy. I was a shy person, you know, so it was very, like, hard for me to do, like, something like a, like, shit, like, a, like a comedy video, right? Right. But then I, as I got older, I'm like, you know what? This is me, you know? This is how I am as a person, you know? Like, fuck, when I was in high school, shit, I used to be a class clown. When I was in middle school, I used to be a class clown. You know, sh now that I'm on, I'm like, fuck it, let me just do that shit on camera, you know? But yeah, I, almost three years ago. But like... Been, uh, so, well, like, like you just, I don't know how to explain this, fool, but, like, what what motivated you to make, like, what what did you see, like, like, well, like, oh, I should make a video, like, because, like, to me, I was bored, fool. Yeah. And I was bored, I had nothing to do for it, my cousin kept telling me to make a video, make a video, and then that's why I did it, fool, and that shit was, it, kind of, it was pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Did you like it, like, the first video you made? Nah, I think like the first video I made was whack, bro. And it was crazy because I still have it or no? Or you remember? Um, it was a couple. I did like three of them when I first started, oh, bro. The first one, and then like, like, like the first one, ah, uh, then let me see. <laughs> yeah, like you know what I used to do a lot, and I still try to do it, but I did a lot of add-ons videos. Like there was already a video out there, and then I'll cut into that video and then try to make it like if it was one video, mm. I put myself in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I would do shit like that. But where, where would you put it in them, like, at first, though? On Instagram. Oh, on Instagram. Instagram, yeah. Oh, mind you, okay, like, so people that don't know, right? I, I was a meme page back in the day. Oh, you, know you had I mean? a meme page? I had a meme page, yeah. So I had a meme page, Those bro. Those memes. Put on my <laughs> mind, like, I was doing my mind shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's crazy, because this generation, bro, like, I don't know, bro, but it's, they're so sensitive. I can't even upload something because they get offended or, or any little shit like that, bro. It just gets deleted, you know what I mean? Let me ask you, what generation are you, fool? I don't know. Wait. How old are you? Are you comfortable saying your age or not? Yeah, I said, I'm, 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 I'm going to be 32. Oh, you're going to be 32? Yeah, right? I'm going to be 32. Yeah, so I might like, they're chiquito, wey, you know, but I, I like, people say I look young and shit. But I'm 32, yeah, estoy bien corrido, wey. I have my back hurts and everything. Does, did you like, did. Pero, um, what? How was like, uh, making videos, do you make videos at work too? Yeah, yeah, I tried to. I stopped doing that too and shit, but. But going back to the story, of, yeah. I, I was a meme page, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I was a meme page, and then um, I started doing it. And then my page got deleted when I hit 10K on my meme pages and shit. 
And then I just, then I got deleted again, fool. But what kind of memes? Like just pictures only? Yeah, like videos. Yeah, stupid videos. You know, or just co- funny videos. videos. You're just like sharing stuff. Sharing shit like okay. that, you know? I started becoming... Th- and then I was like, you know what? You were like a middleman, like the goal. Like you you had... All right, Spencer, guys, I knew to this. I accidentally stopped. I accidentally stopped recording. But where are you going? Um, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I was a meme page. I started like uh, as a meme page and I just got kept getting deleted. And then, um, but yeah, shout out to all the meme pages. You know what I'm saying? Like, but... But people were back in the day, they were not sensitive. You know, people could handle like a video, like a comedy video, and then people were like handling shit. Now it's like, I can't do that shit. So when I was a meme page, bro, I'm like, you know what? Fuck this shit. I can't, I can't keep getting deleted. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because you put time and effort on your page. You know, uh, like, that's, and that's it, exactly what I was gonna ask you. Like, how much time were you putting into like, like a meme page? It, it's crazy because it was like a full time job. Fool. Oh, net that. You know, fool, you have to wake up. And this is crazy. Oh, this said you have to, you have to wake, wake up, up yeah, early, you have fool. To wake up. You have to, and it's crazy because that's how this shit is. You have to wake up early, fool. Post that shit, and then um, post one in the morning, post one in the like during the day, and then spread them out. Fuck. So there's like a there was like at least five videos a, size, a day. There's the highest behind meme pages. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So oh, it was five five videos a day. You know, you had to be consistent. You know, okay. boom, boom, boom. So I'm like, fuck. I see it away. Boom, boom. And then I five videos a day, every day. Five day, five Sin videos fire. a day. Sin fire, and you man. were right there, fucking Just construction. Just every fucking day, fool, like that. Boom, boom. You man. do construction since when? Since you were like, since your whole life, or since at the age of um twenty, I hit the construction field. Yeah, at the age of twenty, I said I hit the construction field. But um, that oh, shit opened man. my eyes to different shit. Yeah, it was like, cause I look, I worked, I worked at the. Um, I did car wash. I did uh, I did Burger King. Where'd you go? Okay, okay. So, so, so we, we like your meme page, but but okay, but okay. Where you from? Where so so you from? Fool, first of all, I'm from Boyle Heights, big dog. Okay, I'm from Boyle Heights. Heights. That's on the east side, you know, the east side of the of the the Elac yeah. River, you know. Okay. The East LA River, my bad. Yeah, Elac is a college. Yeah, Elac is a college, my bad. Spend time, but yeah, <laughs> we're on the east side, you know, right, right next to East LA. People, people. So what schools did you go to? I went to. um Oh, you didn't go to school. Yeah, yeah, I went to Sheridan. I went to Sheridan Elementary, and then uh, I went to Hollenbeck Middle School. All right. And then from there, I went to Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Okay. And then I was doing bad there. Then I went to adult school right there on Morango. Oh, te oh. corrieron? Hey, me dijeron que me pongan las pilas, güey. So they're like... You said fuck it, I'm out. Simon, I, I, then I went to adult school right there on Morango and Soto. So I doing that shit. They, it was more freedom there. You know what I mean? It was mostly libertad. Oh, like, you get to whatever, like whatever time you can Whatever time the fuck you want, you can walk out whatever time you want out of the class, bro. So, that it makes it much like, más rebelde, way. Like, I was just going like, fuck, you know, going crazy. Yeah, like, I wasn't like focusing on school and shit anymore, you know what I'm saying? So then I started going to like the, the tagging shit and todo ese mar, you know? Oh, you were a tagger? Yeah, everybody, everybody, if you're not, look, bro, if you're not from Boy, Ohio, East LA, you had to be a tagger, bro. So if you are from East LA, Ohio, you, you had yeah, to, I bro. wasn't a tagger, fool. You had to, or you know somebody, I know somebody, I know oh, somebody. I know, I know You know what I mean? Like, it, and then, but yeah, that's how I that tried shit was. it. And but, then, but on the, I have a whole bar writing. I'm like, no, madness. Even I wanted to wipe that shit off. <laughs> <laughs> and then I started doing like, and then I did the party scene too, big dog. Like, like the whole party crew shit. And oh, you were just, it, you were it, wild. It was wild. Yeah, I was getting wild, fool. And then, so at that now moment. You were like, so when you were in high school, you were out partying or no? I, I, I was just like, like yeah. You strict parents? Shout out to my parents. Yeah, they were pretty straight on me, bro. Yeah, they were pretty straight. Shout out to my yeah. But like, like I said, it was, um. There was only so much you could control when you're being a teenager in that area. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's it's, um, So you're, what, you're like around what time? Around what time? Uh, uh, bro, like, yeah, shout out to my parents. Like, huh? Oh, no, no, like 2010. What happened? It was around this time or what? Uh, all that shit was going 2005, 2004. All that whole party scene, all that shit, 2005. How old 2006. were you? I was, uh, at that time, I was 14, 15. Spence, so are you getting yeah. drunk? Yeah, I was getting drunk, bro, like... It, it, it was a crazy, nah. yeah. It just, nah, yeah. don't do that. Don't get drunk. Nah, don't get drunk. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't condone none of that shit. It's just an uh, experience that you go through and shit. You know what I'm saying? It was yeah, part of my environment. Stories. Yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, fools, welcome to the Don't Blame the System podcast. Fools, the first ever podcast. So, if you fools are wondering what the fuck are you fools going to talk about, shout out to, and this is a, uh, yeah, shout out to the, thank you for having me, nah, big dog. Sure, I appreciate sure. you. Thank you for coming. Don't thank blame the system. So, sure. so, it's going to be like, 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 so right now we're just getting to know this fool, first of all, but right now we're going to get into some real, like, Deep inspirational shit to help motivate you fools. Don't blame the system. Just means like, like, look, boom, look I'm, and look. this is and what I'm telling you right now, bro. Like this, this what I'm telling you. Right, I have um, I didn't experience. I didn't express it on other podcasts. You yeah. know what I mean? This is, this is yeah. This is this is like different shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because I feel comfortable like expressing that shit. Because I feel like 
now it's good to say it. Yeah. Like, yeah. So like for 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 example, uh, there's a lot of people that probably were in the party scene. Simon. That took different paths. You know, they're not able. Some of them. Um, so I don't know, crazy. You know, someone go. You know, like nah, like so, somebody become like so. You, so, uh, so at the end of the day, don't blame the system. Just means like, look, it doesn't matter what you've been through. At the end of the day, there's always like something in the future. You know, there's always something better. So, so uh, you just you know you can't blame other people. At one point, you have to like, I'm sure you enjoyed it, right? But at one point, you have to take responsibility and kind of do like uh, like something else. Or not? Nah. Yeah, or you feel like, like you like, still party every day or not? Nah? nah, Charlie, big time. <laughs> nah, nah. At that moment, like when I was hitting, already hitting that, like the whole party scene, you know. Shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to all the homies, you know what I mean? Like it was getting crazy, so I had to move out. I left, you know. I left Boyle Heights. I left to uh, Coachella, you know what I mean? Like, when I went to Coachella, that's when I started working. Spencer, just, just, just so like, just cause, cause like, like it's just like. I don't know. For me, I feel like it's kind of like important. But like, around what age was this when this when you left Coachella? This is like around seventeen, uh, sixteen, seven, yeah, sixteen. So you were partying for a couple of years, doing this madre. So seventeen, sixteen, seventeen, yeah. At that so age. Yeah. so when you went to continuation school, oh yeah, you were like what, fifteen, sixteen? Yeah, yeah, correct. So you were like a freshman. You barely started high school. No, I was like uh, t- uh, t- uh, was it a tenth grade sophomore? Yeah, sophomore. Yeah, big dog. Yeah. And you went to uh, how long were you there? At the, at the continuation school? For like three to three to four months. Y te fuiste a Coachella. Yeah, y me pelagayo, yeah. Oh, you had people out there or you just, yeah, you just I, like partying? Nah, no, no, I had people out there, yeah. I had people out there. I had family out there, you know, so so I took off over there. I took off over there and then I, that's when I started working. Started uh, working like, I did the Jack in the Box shit and then I did the Burger King shit and the car wash shit. And then from there, uh, me quedé like one, two, three, like four years también. Four years and I'm like, fuck this. I'm out of here. You know, I got to come back on this side. You know what I mean? Cause that's when I started getting into the whole construction scene and all that shit. Yeah. So did you work construction over there too? Yeah. And yeah. that's when, and that's when you were like, nah, right there, shit over there. Yeah. I felt like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's better over here. It's better over here and shit. Yeah. So. Yeah. And how is it, how is it like, uh, so how is it like working like from a, like, so I wasn't working like at a regular job cause, cause I'm going to say something. But when, when like I work like a, like at a store and shit. Yeah. Like, neta, la gente vale verga, fudo, fudo. La gente no sabe trabajar for, like, like, if we just be, like, we'll be complaining that they don't get paid for enough and they don't be doing anything all day. Like, no mames, me, güey, esto que te pasas de verga. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> so, like, uh, how is, like, people, like, like, no, not that you're old, fu, pero, pues, like, you know, for me, it's like, a, like, I feel like, I feel like back in the day, just people were different or no. They, have you had another holiday after, before? Uh, yeah, fu, I work, I work, look. I worked at the Swami Food since I was a kid. I worked at uh, at a uh, at a place uh, where they sold um fucking what's it called treadmills, ellipticals, okay. workout machines. But they were all used or not used, but there would be like open box or he'll yeah. get them by, by by like pallets and shit. And like we'll post them on offer up and then have to like we'll literally have to get people to come in and like and you know like buy the machine and then. And we had to convince them, like, without telling like them a, that they're fat. You, you know? a salesman and all that shit? S- Simon, well, yeah, I think I was, well, they other salesmen sales, like, in the Swami food. We used to sell women jeans. Yeah. That shit was, that shit was fun, fun. That shit with my uncle. She was pretty sick. And then when we stopped doing that, my uncle started doing the doves. So that was around when I was, like, 14. Right. And we started doing that. And then I was doing the doves. We just going to funerals, weddings, bautizos, quinceañeras. And then after that, that's when I, uh, when I graduated high school. It was like, ah, uh, like, cause it was shit was like only a couple gigs, uh, 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 here and there. Yeah. Um, and it was only like, it's on call, you know, uh, it's still on call, but it's like on call every day. So like, you know, like it's basically not on call anymore, but, but like, like, um, fucking when I, when I graduated high school, I, for a couple months, I was, I wasn't even, I was just doing that. Just a couple gigs with the does, but I was like, but and then um I got a uh, uh, signed up for online for a job at uh at a fucking it was like a fitness thing. yeah and then fucking I think that's the first job I ever I think that I think that might have been like the yeah I went for an interview and I met the owner I full scary fool but that shit was crazy as fuck fool like that fool was crazy the owner I said with look that's it's crazy fool like just like when you go apply to a Halle perro. And it's back Some in the, the yeah, like back in the day, like cause it's crazy, cause back in the day, um, 
How much is it a fucking week? I don't no, know. No, 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 no. no. You two, two, dejate de caer las greñas. Pues ahí veré yo. Look, fuck it, because when I got the Holly for Jack in the Box, right? Mm -hmm. Shout out to Dispenza. But I wasn't, I wasn't. Um, to who? I Shout out to Dispenza. <laughs> Dispenza, nah, but I wasn't, um, I wasn't, um, I wasn't 18, right? But I, like I told you, I was working for her. So I had to get a fake ID, perro, oh, no. to go get. And, and at that time, they didn't do like a lot of background check. And it was just, they'll look at you a fucking ID. And then, boom, like that. Because like now there's like 16-year-olds working like a jack-in-the-box. Sí, güey, pero ya ahora sí chequean, ahora sí chequean, güey. You know, that's the matter, güey. Pero era más fácil, güey. Era un jale, güey. You know what I mean? And then, and then, then um, I went to this company, and then they drug tested and all that shit. That's the matter, you know what I mean? But <laughs> I remember I applied for this holly too, and um, they're like, "Oh, we got a drug test," and I'm like, "Fuck!" And I'm like, "I gotta get this holly for." I'm not gonna put, I'm not gonna put this holly on the spot, but um, I'm like, "Fuck!" I gotta get it. They're paying feed me, you know what I mean? So I've been working for. I sent me research about like fucking how to pass a drug test, you know what I mean? And um, hey, I know it, and um, I found some research and I used that shit. He boom, dog. Like I was in the restroom doing that shit and. That's the food. I got the holly food, long story short. You were smoking some gas back then? I was or smoking what? some fire, some quet this shit. Like, whoo, oh. You know what I mean? But I'm like, fuck, I gotta get this holly, you know what I mean? Yeah, but. How, how was, so, how was like your first job interview? Because, look, when I was in high My school, first food, job we had a practice job interview. Yeah, some other stuff, papitas, food, that shit was easy. My first job interview was, um, it was cool, pero. Like, oh, that, and I think it was a oh, car. I had papitas. You want papitas or not? Yeah, yeah, I'm down right now, yeah. We got some Tony's dip. So shout, shout out to, to Tony's, Tony's dip. dip yeah. Tony's dip is bomb as fuck. And, and um, make sure you guys tune in. Um, uh, YouTube, subscribe. Uh, Don't Blame the System, episode one. Mikey Barbaro. Uh, yeah, but make sure you guys tune in, all right? Don't Blame the System, episode one with Mikey Barbaro. Man, that's your boy right here. Um, but yeah, that's crazy, fool. Like, it just, um, my first experience, like, getting, uh, applying for it was feedback, fool. Like, I was getting, um, it was actually for a car wash. You remember the questions that they asked you, Tolbello? Or it was just like this one was a f like it, I'm telling you back in the day it was easier like now it's like fuck they want you to be well educated and that's good you know what I mean but uh. that guy but wrong way but um that car wash I walked in for and then shout out to my uncle because he was the one managing the area you know like the the, the car wash oh, okay. I walked in I told my uncle hey what's up man like I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here <laughs> I'm like what's up I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. my uniform yeah, I'm like, I'm like no questions asked he's like here you start this day they gave me a shirt my guess yeah uh Jose way I'm on his big cat like, oh. but it was a free uniform perro you know but okay they should give you one that said Mike yeah after a whole week yeah fool and um. That Halle was, um, it was pretty cool. Fool just washing cars and shit, you know, say kind of toast his mother, you know what I mean? But it wasn't me, fool, so I had to take off. But uh, that was my first Halle. And uh, my, uh, like I said, they didn't even ask me that much any questions. How bro. long did you work there? I uh, like fucking two months. Oh, that's a good amount. Like, yeah, no, I could say. That's not a good amount, but not nah, like three, two or three but months. Better. Oh, and I was going, first. like, for, mind you, for I was going to school, because when I came to, when I went to Coachella, I still went to school. I, I got back into the the whole high school. Yeah, like check this out, pero, right? So watch. So like, so I'm like, Coachella. Like, I'm like, fuck, what the fuck? It's crazy, right? I, it's just white people. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just white people. I never. So yeah, away, and I'm like, fuck. They went to school away, and it just like the fucking. Have you seen that movie, High School Musical? Yeah. It's just like that, fool. Like I walk in, just white people, fool. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And I'm like, fuck, and I'm walking. I'm like, damn, this is crazy. And I'm tripping. I'm like, that. Just I'm in an area on the stop with white people. You know what I mean? So I was like liking that shit. I'm like, fuck yeah. You know what I mean? It was not like, in, you know, he's so, okay, uh, so like, like back in the day when you were right, like here, how was it here? All right, it was crazy, like, bro. Like, like the people, it was just straight, ra it was just straight raza. Just straight raza, fool. Straight raza. And so what, like downtown, or downtown was still. Like what do you mean? Like like how like how, like like in high school high school. No, what are you talking no. about? Like when you were like like in, like Boyle Heights area, right? It that was, was just rasa. just just rasa, yeah. And I was and I was raised on that just just rasa, you know. Yeah. Just um just just were you close the people, to like yeah. the Mariachi Plaza and shit or not? Yeah, yeah. Uh, was in the hospital. Or what? Yeah, I was right. There. I was born in hospital. Uh, where you born? I was General Hospital, but oh, General Hospital. Yeah, I'm a county baby. Yeah. Damn, man. Yeah, so I was born there. So I, I was raised in the north side of Boyle Heights, yeah. you know, and um. Uh, but yeah, fool, it was crazy. It was pretty cool and shit. It was just, it was just, uh, just active way with uh, Harlem back. You know, if you make it through Harlem back or high school out of that fucking area, fool, you'll make it anywhere. Yeah, better. you got fucking fools banging it. on you or what? And, uh? Fools were banging on you? 
Well, not on and me, fool. You not, too? Nah, <laughs> banging your nah. <laughs> ass, sick ass. Food. <laughs> nah, they would. It would just. It, it would just active, you know. And if you knew people, then you'll be straight. But it was always like, it was shit like that. Like it was active, pero. You know what I mean? Uh, it was like parties too. It was parties. Shootout. Yeah, it was. You cool. never got shot. I, 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 nah, I don't know about none of that shit, pero. Huh? Nah. You like guns or nah? Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, absolutely, cool. they're cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like, but all right. So now we can get. Now we know a little bit. So now we can get back to like the memes and the video shit, dude. So yeah. So being in social media, fool. How do you feel about social media, dog? Like, what's your opinion? What's your take on it? Or like, what's your take? What's your main platform? Instagram. Yeah. I use what Instagram. other platforms do you use? I got TikTok. TikTok. Yeah. I just you like TikTok? TikTok not too long. Yeah, it's all right, bro. TikTok is yeah. like crack. Yeah, no, I, I well, I don't know, bro, because I, I don't, don't use it. That. I don't use it as much, bro. Oh, that's good, that's good. I don't, I don't, I don't go on that much, yeah. you know. I don't know why, but people tell me to go on that shit. No, more. no, no, don't. But I, I don't, I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't no. be on that shit no more. I could e- even, even Instagram too, because that shit's addicting, bro. Like social media, it's addicting, bro. It's like a, it's like a, it's como una droga, we. Yeah. People, people. Scary, people don't fool. people don't notice that shit, fool. People, and I, and it's crazy because because I, I could it's crazy because I can I can see somebody that's addicted on the phone, you know. As soon as you see, you can see somebody that's gonna be like from anything, big time. And, and social media could get depressing, bro. You know what I mean? Social media could get you depressed and shit like that. Why? Because you're just looking at other people's success, you know, and that shit will fuck you up in your head. You know what I mean? Because you're just like, how come I'm not in that level and shit? You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you just got to appreciate the uh, the position that you're in. You know what I mean? And that's why I don't even take no, no like, social media as competition, big dog. I don't take nobody as competition. Yeah. I don't look at nobody yeah. as competition. I just want everybody to win on social media. Why? Because I don't eat off social media, big dog. You know what I mean? I don't. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't, I don't eat off that shit. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm looking at. So you, for, you you work for okay, so you work for someone else or you with your own company? I w- yeah, I w- yeah, I work. Yeah, for, I work for a big company and then I have my own business. So if they if some fools want to build a house, what can they get at you, fool? Or like or like what what services do you provide and what can they get at you? They can get uh well I don't have a phone number like that right now. They didn't mail. Nah, why well, do I, I, I just DM you? Can you DM no, me? No, like, like, I'm gonna keep it a bug. I don't, I don't, I don't expose like my phone number right now on social media like that. No, no, right no. now, like, the whole customers that I have is just through word of mouth, you know. And right now, gracias a Dios, me ha ido bien, wey. You know what I mean? So, but not like, stay, so, like, so you, right you now, have I, enough business like that. I have enough business yeah. like that. And in the future, like, of course, I do want to expand more. And once I have more people working with me and all that shit, you know what I mean? Then I, I, I do want to take it to the next level, start putting it on Instagram. But right now, gracias a Dios, man, me ha ido bien. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So, like, how much time do you dedicate to the social media stuff? I just got to, uh, not. Oh, you're, you're like, not it, it was crazy because, like, back in the day, it was, it was, it was pretty hard, you know? What do you do mostly right now on social media? What's like, what, what mostly do you do? What do you, what, uh, what like, I do? Just, like, yeah, skits or what? Yeah, well, I do skits and then I'm doing the whole Kalaka shit, bro. Oh, Kalaka. The whole Kalaka shit. Oh, we got a, we got a, oh, we got some shit right here, baby. Yeah. So we got uh, Kalaka, which, is, like, which Kalaka is like a skull, huh? Shout out to the Kalaka, homies. So it's, a, it's a skull. What's the name of the, of the character? Uh, The one that I play is yeah. Fossil. Yeah, Fossil. Which is uh, AKA Spanish easy. easy. Yeah, easy. Simon. Yeah, English for easy. No, Fossil is Spanish for easy, no? Yeah, yeah Simon. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> that fire. Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> But yeah, so I play that character, big dog. I should scream. I'm sorry if I just. <laughs> yeah, so Luis, here. Luis, uh, Luis Projects came up with that uh, the whole okay. gimmick, bro. He's been coming out with the skulls, and he came up with that uh, uh, that fossil skull, and he and he brought it to my table. I actually articulate, bro. Articulate. He's the one that uh, mentioned it to me, and then it's been a go, bro. Gracias a Dios, we got. I got the. How many calacas is there? Cause there are homies, no? I heard there's homies. Yeah, there is homies, bro. But oh. like, I want to get it clear right now, okay? Easy E, Fácil, AKE, I mean, uh, Fácil, he's a, he's city of Calacas. Calaca homies is a, which is Vato, Tio Hueso, Lolita, and uh, Chisto. Those oh. are the Calaca so there's homies. So two clicks. These fools fight, ah, oh, so these fools fight or que pedo? Nah, nah, it's just, um, that's them, like the Calaca homies is more like the, the raza thing, you know what I mean? Okay, uh, so, uh, but, so how many characters, but, but the same person? Same food that's making them or it's otro pedo? Yeah, same people as making yeah, right, same, so, same so shout, out Luis, shout, shout out to Luis Project, bro. Okay, Luis Project. Shout out to Luis Project. How, yeah. so, uh, how many has Luis um, like made? How many has Man, he has? Man, multiple, do you know? bro. Mul- uh, that I can count, I can't count off my hand, but he has a lot, bro. 
More than ten? Uh, I, I can't say. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, but he doesn't put all of them out. Or not? He yet. started. Yeah, he did. He, he started little he by little. Them? He makes them, bro. That's fucking crazy. Those shits. I mean, those shits look pretty sick. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Ese va a pesado, man. But yeah, um, yeah, that's what keeps me busy right now too. Because when we started doing like events and um. Right now, they're booking us for Fossil and all that. So, hey, if you guys want to book us, hit us up at City of Calacas. Hit me up, too. I'm Mike Bavaro. Yeah, we do quinceañeras, too, perrito. Anything. You want You want Fossil there? We're, we're there. Up. Yeah, I do quinceañeras, too, for Denver. Yeah. Good for quinceañera is the duffguy.com. So, you, you know. need the Calacas to show up. So, right now, fool, we're going to take a, a, a quick little break. Let's do it, We're going to go ahead and gather some very interesting questions for you. We're going to go do ahead it. and challenge Challenge your knowledge. And then Are you guys ready or what? Some inspiration, all right, fool? So Let's do we'll it. go ahead and be right back after this short uh, sponsor. <laughs> Choo. All right, thank you guys for tuning in to the first ever Don't Blame the System podcast. So check it out, guys. This first episode is brought to you by Los Pinches Gummies. So check it out. These gummies are a little bit special. They're a little bit pinche gummies. Why? Because they come with the mystery sauce. Let me show you guys. Look, this mystery sauce, you go ahead and pour them in your uh, gummies. You can go ahead and put tajin on them. Bomb.com, bro. The fucking Los Pinches Gummies is Latina family owned. They do pops. They do pops at the Avenue 26 Night Market. So make sure you push check them out on Instagram. Their Instagram is Los Pinches Gummies. And they do have a website coming out very soon. So you guys ready for this? Look. Mmm. Oh, that mystery sauce is bomb. Nah, this is pretty fucking delicious if you ask me. So make sure you guys check out Los Pinches Gummies. These fucking gummies are delicious. They got all types of different flavors, all types of different gummies, sauces, chamoy, little carry-on, big bottles, whatever you need. So make sure you guys tap in at Los Pinches Gummies. They have a website coming out soon. Thank you for sponsoring the first ever episode. Don't blame the system. Let's go. Yes, sir. So we're back. Welcome back to the Don't Blame the System podcast. So shout out to our sponsor. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. So Mike. Let's go ahead and get to it. I think these people need some, uh, some inspiration. They don't understand what don't blame the system means. So let me tell you something. I th- throughout your whole stories, did you, did, like, not, like, I don't know, I don't know, right? Did you ever get, like, your high school diploma or no? No. You never did? No. And, you, and you're still alive, you know? You're still and walking, still, you're still breathing, no pasó nada. Yeah, yeah. Have you, have you ever, like, accomplished anything? Or you feel like in, in your life that you accomplished? I feel like uh, at this moment, is I'm good, you know? But I feel like I could do more. Right. Yeah. And as far as, like, accomplishments, yeah, like, yeah, like, started my business. I, I'm glad to, I, I did that, you know? I'm glad a chance to. Right. So, fools will be like, if you didn't reason, get your high, school dec- your high school diploma, you you're don't not going to do shit. And it's crazy because. You're not going to work. You're going to be lazy. You're going to be this We're stuck in a, we're, like, they put in a, like, in, a, in our head, right? Like, yeah. You have to be a, a cop. Um, you have to be in a firefighter. As you grow up, right? The teachers mm-hmm. put that in your head. Even your parents put that in your head. Yeah. Like, hey, um, Amy, you gotta be no a doctor. Way. Hey, pongas las pilas. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to everybody that does that. That does that route. You know, um, I don't, I don't see nothing wrong with that. But you don't need none of that shit. You know what I mean? Like, you could do that shit. Um, without having a diploma, without having a GED, you can start your own business, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean, get your, you know, get your business license, get your LLC. Get Trademark everything, bro. Do that shit right, correct. So your business is all around construction. Yeah, and I work for a big company as well. You know what I mean? Like a, mm-hmm. a pretty big company that, that does so a lot of real estate and I, all that. Yeah, oh, and, so and what about yeah. real estate? You like real estate? Real estate is cool, right? Yeah, I really, uh, you uh, own real estate. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, so so what? Well, what? Well, yeah, but, um, but but um, I want to elaborate a little bit more no. on that, right? It's just the fact that um, um. When we're young, bro, and people tell you, hey, um, you should do this or do that, like, right? Yeah. We live in the moment, right? We just live in the moment as we're young, bro. Like, but that's why you got to surround yourself with individuals that are going to be good for your, for your future. Or sometimes you got to do listen to your parents. You do got to listen to the people that are telling you, hey, go to school or do this, you know, invest in yourself. And um, I wish I was a little, like, when I was 21, I wish I was at that age, hey, do this, do that, right? No, but I was just living day by day because I felt like it was I was living good, right? But mm-hmm. no, there's more to that, bro. You can do more. You can invest in yourself, your, your properties. Um, and not just in just property, just business-wise, you know what I'm saying? Like, start your own business, start, like, restaurant or anything that, that's um, going to push you forward to what, what you love to do as well, you know what I mean? Um, it's never too late. It's never too late, you know what I'm saying? I'm only 32, and 
um, it's never too late for me. And I feel like um, there's a lot that I still want to accomplish. You know, there's a lot of things that I want to do as far as, like, um, opening up more businesses, like, um, things things like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, so so where, where are your parents from? Uh, they're from Guadalajara, Jalisco. Okay, were you, are you from there or are you from here? I'm from uh, I'm from here. Oh, yeah, you said you were born in the General Hospital. Yeah. Huh? I don't know. I think there's a General Hospital in Jalisco, too. Nah. <laughs> but, so, so okay, so you're, you're first generation, right? Yeah. So you're first generation, and, and a lot of people, it's a, like, pressure, right? You're first generation, like, you were supposed to get your high school, like, diploma, right? Because you're first generation, you're supposed to make your parents proud. But at the end of the day, there's so many other opportunities in life. And a lot of people would say, you know what? Um, I didn't get my high school diploma, so I can't be anything. I'm just going to go look for a regular job or, or I can't, I can't like, I'm just going to work for someone else for the rest of my life, which is totally fine because honestly, honestly, there's, there's like a comfort in, li- in doing that or whatever the case yeah, may be. And it's, ba- and it's basically the, the check, you know, yeah. the, 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 the comfort of knowing that you're getting paid every two weeks or yeah. every week and which is nothing wrong with that, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, um, yeah, people, especially, I don't blame them, but if you're going to get paid, if you're not in the company, fuck, fuck, by all means, bro, do that shit, you yeah. know what I mean? Because you're going to have your benefits on that shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. But but there's always, like, um, and it's crazy because I seen them um, back in the day when Rasa didn't even have that uh, opportunity to start businesses like that. Now I see it more, more Latinos, more Hispanics opening up businesses, bro, you know what I mean? Like, and that's a good thing, man. I'm glad to see that. Yeah, I agree because the thing is, like, a lot, um, a lot of people would, um, like shut themselves off because right. of that and that's the point of not blaming the system is like yeah you know you can go to school and if you want to go to school but it's like don't don't like like i don't know like you can easily blame anyone right for for whatever reason yeah. i'm sure maybe at one point there was a point in your life where you were like like you didn't know what the fuck was going like you know like and it's yeah like and, and so it just doesn't make sense and you can you probably go through well, how old are you right now bro i'm 21 I don't know if you go through oh. that, you know, but you know, I don't know, but you, you're 21, bro, but I feel like the way you conduct yourself, I feel like you're very mature, bro, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? I don't know if you get that a lot, yeah. but yeah, but because um, I have been a lot of people that are young and shit también, but, pero, um, more to the story, bro, like, um, what was the subject? <laughs> 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 I'm trying to say, so basically, don't blame the system, it's like you can easily blame, um, uh, your, your parents, you can easily blame the school system, you can easily blame... Um, you know, um, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, your, your, oh, yeah. your bosses for whatever like, reason. Uh, but you can get lost, like, um, back to that subject, right, that I was saying, um, uh, it's because I was trying to give you your flowers, but it don't. Like, gracias, gracias. Yeah. 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 But, um, uh, yeah, like, uh, when I was 20, bro, 21, I was still, I was like, what am I going to do with myself, you know what I mean? You get lost, like, shit, what? what right. Am I, what am so, I going to be from Okay, from so, now? so now we, we know that, uh, now we live in a time where, like, uh, everyone is, like, m- mentally fucked that way. Yeah, no, everyone, fuck everyone, everyone, especially social media. Big and no, but but the thing about social media is not that they're fucked up; is that they're lying about it. You know, like, oh, it's, and then and then it's like, you know, I see social media like this, this, this fucking concept that I have. Let's talk, about social, like, media, like, let's talk about social media. Let's talk about social media. I'm inside my house, right? Mm-hmm. Supongamos I have a window. I have, let's say I'm in, my, I'm in my house and I have a window. Right. In my house, my house can be dirty. Fuck, I have dirty dishes. I need to wash the restroom. I need to yeah. cook. Fucking if I have if I go to school I need to do homework if I put I need to edit videos look is that right yeah if I look outside the window de vez en cuando we I'ma see like some fool walking his dog the kids outside playing football yeah. el pedo, you know fools fucking walking yeah. with his girlfriend putting when, her in a car whatever when you when you get out of your house people recognize you bro right when you get out of my house yeah 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 yeah, yeah. that's crazy bro yeah yeah it's just kind of it's kind of crazy pero um so so yeah so basically when you look like like social media can be that window you know but if you put a chair next to that window and just stare out the window all day and you don't focus on what you got to do, you're going to be like, dude, how come I'm not outside playing all day? Like, how come I'm not doing that shit all day? Like, yeah. but you can go do that shit, but you just have to get what you got to get done first and focus, you know, focus on what you got to get done first. And then you can go outside instead of just having to look through the window. It's like, you know, like me. So I didn't have social media, fool, because I don't like that shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like, I want to fucking, ugh, I hate that shit, fool, like. Yeah. That's just fucking frustrating as fuck, cause yeah, it's it's so stupid. Like when, realistically, when you when 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 you think about it, when you post something, when you do something, you're looking for an interaction from someone. Mm-hmm. 
and if and and if you don't give me the interaction I want, then I'm gonna feel stupid. Or, or if you don't give me the interaction I want, then I'm gonna feel uh, like that shit wasn't good, or I'm gonna feel like it wasn't that, or it wasn't. Can this. I ask you something? Uh, and let me put my two cents. Do you think it's not when it comes down to social media? And there's a lot of people that say, "Oh, it's not about the likes. It's not about the followers." Let's keep it real big, dog. Do you think it's it, it, it's about the followers? Is it about the likes? What do you mean? The whole social media. When it comes down to people, like when you have a lot, of, like a certain amount of followers, right? Um, I, I hear people like um, uh, they'll be like, "Hey, it's not about the followers. It's not about the the likes." And to a certain extent, you know what I mean? Like we were just talking about that earlier, right? Like, hey. Well, I don't know. Like that's the only shit that that. So so it depends. So there's ways. There's ways you can make money on social media, right? There's a lot of ways to to make yeah. money, and there's a lot of ways to help people. Yeah. But. When we talk about when someone posts a picture, right, on let's say on Instagram, and in order for it to get onto the uh, onto yeah. the explore page, page yeah. it has to be something that that their followers want, their followers interacted with, right. to the to to a certain level, to the point where it, it put it in the explore page. If I put if I put a picture with uh of you know say with Yolendo Libro, no one cares, fool, no one cares. Yeah. Wait, we all know a female puts a bikini fool. Well, the fools are gonna like it, and, and but what does that happen? Fool, what happens there? Hey, damn, that girl got so many likes, but I don't look like her. Like, why? Why yeah. don't I look like her? Like, I wanna, I wanna be a bad bitch like like that. But it's like, bitch, that bitch doesn't even clean her room. That shit's dirty as fuck. Why the fuck you wanna be like her? No mama. It's like, yeah. like so you only see a little bit, and then and then you like fools are gonna like it because. Probably his girlfriend doesn't look like that either, or whatever the fuck the case may be, fool. But yeah, it's it's really like um or cars, you know, or or fool fool posts the, the the best car. Man, I know so many people that fucking they don't fucking know the shit they'd like to be fucking posting. Yeah, and and it's like for what for likes, like um and more to that as well, bro. Like um, you think being humble in social media, bro, can backfire on you? What do you mean? Yeah, like, it, it could be, like, for example, right? Like, if you're being too much humble, too accessible, do you think it fucks up with your business? Well, humble, humble to Cause now, not like, Because now, like, Cause it's crazy because if you're too humble. But what do you mean by too humble? Because, like, being too humble could easily be, like, okay, for example. The reason I, why I'm saying that shit, because why, like, like, you could be humble, right? You can help out 10 motherfuckers, right? Yeah. That one time you say no to that shit, that that shit will backfire on you and t- like, they'll make you feel like okay, you that one time you didn't help out that person, ya con eso te quieren atacar with. That that's that's an example, right? And, and not noticing the the humble, the ten times of being humble, yeah. you did, and then boom, that one time you didn't respond to whatever they were trying to do, fuck, yeah, bam, that one. That's an example like a social media like fuck. But let me okay, so that that like let me explain to you what 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 like the way that I say like like. Well, has that even happened to you, Pedro? Like that um. Where fools be like, oh yeah, like yeah, what yeah, happened? Yeah. Like you're too much, or or like what's up? Like you're too cool. Or yeah, there, or, or like, you or you can't. Yeah. Fools gotta understand. How do you fool? deal with that? Like that's that's a perfect question. How do you how do you how do you how do you deal with that shit? Because I know you're gonna have somebody that's gonna ask you, hey Pedro, and then you probably don't even read them. Or you do read it, you just leave them unread. Or okay. like, or you need to respond to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, I'm gonna tell you but something. But deep inside, I know you. I, I, me, me personally, you're saying you're humble. You're humble, big dog. Okay, you know? yeah, but but let me tell you something. So like, when it comes to messages, yeah, I la neta, I, I promise you, fool, that I seen so many messages that I respond to mentally. Yeah. Yeah, I never write the message, fool, and then like se me olvida, and then it pasa el tiempo, and I'll be like, oh, now I feel like an asshole responding all late. Yeah. I'm like you, fool. I go to funerals every day, fool. I, ha- I have a holiday, fool. I, I record funerals, fool. I-, I like I like to work, fool. I like to work, fool. I used to work at so, a... So, y- your main focus también is like you have your holiday. My, my, um, the thing is, right? fool, when I post a video, I, I, it got to the... I, I was at a point in my life where where you get lost, fool. Like, you want the likes, fool. You want the you, you, you want the growth. You see the growth, and the growth is fucking nice, fool. The growth is dope. Like, I posted this, it did and this, that's, it did this. And, 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 that's what, and that's what I'm telling you, bro. Like, when it comes out to social media, bro, is it about the likes? Is it about the followers? When 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 you're at a certain point. It's about... Let, let's keep it a buck because I feel like... It's, 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 um, 
It's kind of about like. Because just like you said, bro, the social media. Let me tell you. Okay, let me tell you something. When I started me, TikTok, I look at it as all fake. You know what I mean? It is. Yeah, it is. That's it how is. I see it. It is full. Uh, I just look at it like that. Why? Because, bro, like people just post what they want to post. Yeah. And they don't even look at. There's a lot of people that live the way they're supposed to. So they picture that shit on social media. You know what I'm saying? But that's not the way they live. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's it's all fake. You know what I mean? So, or, but no, I'm not throwing shots to nobody, but it just, I just feel like social media is I was just dropping names already. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or like, it just, it just, or people will do too much just for social media or too much. Like me, bro, I'm going to keep it. I, I ju- I'm just having fun with social media, bro. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm having fun with it. You know what I mean? Like, and that's what I'm telling you. Like earlier, I was telling you off, off, off air. You know what I mean? Like there's so much shit like, um, th- like alliances, bro. Like. When you come in and shit, bro, you just look at yourself. I'm having fun with this shit, bro. You know what I mean? And when you social network with people, it's because you do it out of heart. Well, at least I do it out of heart. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm in there to social network with Rasa and blah, blah, blah. Why? Because we're in this shit to escalate yeah. to a different level. You yeah. know what I mean? Everybody's doing that shit. And that's what I'm telling you. It is for the likes. It is for the fucking followers because you want to get to that next level. Though. And whoever tells you <laughs> not about the likes is because they're not at that level yet. You know what I mean? And But, hey, but it's, it's, it's a stepping stone. You know what I mean? But... Like I told you, bro, like I do it out of heart. I do this shit social network just to really do this shit like organically, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But motherfuckers are like, there's just alliances, like there's um fake fake posting shit like that they, they do it out of heart or all that shit. Relax. You know what I mean? Like fake uh, accounts for no reason. <laughs> that that's that, yeah, just to comment on spam on your shit. I mean the whole alliance shit, bro. Like I remember um somebody told me, Oh, don't do a video with this vato. You know what I mean? I'm like, dick, why wouldn't I do a video? Whatever pedo you got going without that, that, that food, that's your pedo. You guys do that shit on your own, you know? You guys are grown mm. men. It's not no high school type of shit, you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? I, t- you tell him, you know, you deal with it. I'm going to deal with both of you because I fuck with both of them. I'm like, what the fuck? You, Who am I? But, but and those are my things. And now, when and if you do t- pick a side, now that group doesn't fuck with you. Yeah. And, and it's crazy because now they build a story on you, and they make you look like the bad guy. But that's why I told you. They don't ever look at the, the 10 times you did good for those people. But the only that one time, can like I got, or you you disagree or something, yeah, that's it. And then they can they run with that story, perro, and then boom, 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 and that mm-hmm. and it's crazy because like I said, it used to fuck me up. I'm like, why would they fucking do that? Sh-? But this is social media, you know what I mean? I know as a man, as a person, I, I know I'm good, I'm happy, you know what I mean? I got my holiday, I got to do this. I, d- I don't feed out social media, yeah. and I don't live on social media. Yeah. So thank God, cause it do- it doesn't get to me, you know what I mean? Like not like that, cause it could get depressing, you know what I mean? They like, can. You know, but um, but if you do have a platform like this, man, and like, if you guys are doing this for for like, if you guys are doing stuff like, like giving back to the community and all that shit, that's good. You know what I mean? Like that's what this. I feel like you should do that if you do have a platform. You know, give back to the community, and that's the best thing. You know, or like start or, or start like a wave or start something so you can give back to the the people that are upcoming. You know what I mean? Like I feel like that's very important. You know what I mean? Like. Um, to the people that are upcoming, anybody that's doing comedy shit, man, like don't give up. Keep doing this shit. As long as you're solid with your feet, keep keep grinding this shit. And if you do have something, run with that shit and be yourself. You know what I mean? And don't be afraid to ask for people or like ask for a handout. You know what I mean? Like people are gonna tell you no, obviously, but out of ten people, at least one of them motherfucker gonna say yes. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And yes, you have to run with that shit because you never know who's watching. You never know who's gonna watch this interview. Tampoco. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you never know who's watching, bro. And yes, it's the That's how social media is. But upcoming motherfucker, like, do, be organic, be you, be original. You know what I mean? Like, you got your, you're original, bro. You yeah. do your own thing. You know what I mean? Like, but I can continue with this fucking social media because I don't know. Wait, I, I, I learned, I learned as I, I go. You know, there wasn't nobody that I was like telling me, hey, you don't do this, don't do that. You know, I didn't have nobody to to really guide me on the social media shit. You know what I mean? Dolo, I learned that on my own. Yeah, yeah, but mm-hmm. yeah, that's, that's crazy. But uh, but like, just uh, if you do find somebody in the entertainment world, and, and if you fuck with somebody, stick with them, you know, cause stick with them and make sure you guys push you guys each other to the next level. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I I do have people that I fuck with. You know what I mean? I got uh, my homie articulate. I fuck with that fool a lot. You know yeah. what I mean? I fuck with you a lot. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and then I got um Blanca. I mean, that I yeah. fuck with them. You know, shout out to Blanca from Bobby D. And um, yeah, bro, just. Just keep your circle tight, you know what I mean? Keep always your circle tight, and you're always going to push hard, you know what I mean? And yeah. I see how it's going to be Because, I mean, I, I, I for sure know, like, that shit's fake as fuck, right? The what? The, that shit's fake as fuck. Because let me tell you something, fool. Like, about me, fool, I'm a person that my whole life just, like, has a big smile, right? Yeah. 
So when I come on my videos, I'll be like, oh, fool, you know how many people think I do, like, crack and shit and, like, hey, do hard drugs, fool? Never once in my life have I like, tried it, fool. Never, that's crazy. fool. Because, but that's because just your energy. Simon, fool, I could be like that's this, fool. You've seen it, fool? Yeah. Que me digan, do this, fool. Y como que... Fool. Y ching, like, blah, blah, blah. All right, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we can talk about fucking fat talk, talk about fucking 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 if everyone can relax, we can go ahead and talk slow. Have a uh, and fools think fools think I'm always happy. También fool just cause I just cause I'm always smiling and shit. Yeah. Pero la letra says I'll be smiling just cause you fools be funny looking. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> 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 nah, but, but like for real, nah, like, for real shit. <laughs> hey, but but like what runs through your head, dog? Like when you do shit like this, because <laughs> like, I'm like my I'm head. Like, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm like, what the fuck? Do you wanna know why there's a, a red and a green brain on, on on your shirt right now? Cause just by the way, that's the dumb in the system shirt. Um, there, there's a you fools. If you fools want to don't blame the system, sure. Make sure you guys DM. Um, it's called uh, the Instagram is don't blame the system, but it's DBT system. All right, DBT system. That's my that's my brain. My brain is always fighting with my brain all the time. Yeah. Uh, twenty four seven fool. I don't know. The only time fool I'm at peace fool is when I'm asleep. Neta. Like the other than that fool is conflict fool nonstop with myself. Crazy conflict fool. Yeah, I feel you, bro. So when I'm driving fool, when I'm driving, I'm supposed to pull it. For example, we. I'm driving, my brain's fucked up, I'll be fucking thinking all types of stupid shit, like, you know, just horrible, which is the, the, it's the point of, like, don't blame the system, because, like, we tend to blame the world, you know, yeah. but we can fix ourselves, we can, like, eventually, like, you know, like, we, like, dig, like, if you're going through something, like, you can blame fucking whoever, like, whoever you want, you know, and they, they, they might be at fault, if you think they're at fault, there's nothing I can tell you to convince you that they're not at fault, but... I can tell you, like, I saw a quote the other day that's like, oh, like, you know, like, anxiety isn't a choice or depression isn't a choice or addiction isn't a choice, all this shit. Or no, such, such like that. But but recovery is a choice, you know, like, you can choose to get back up, you know, right, like, yes. like uh, that, that's fear and shit. So, like, so when I when I be tripping, like, I just be going at it with myself. I crack jokes, fool, by myself. I promise you, fool, I be here, fool, laughing in my room, fool, laughing by myself, fool, driving, start laughing by myself. <laughs> I, I just let that, fool. I've but come I, up, but, but I think everybody does that. Bad, yeah, I do that shit too, fool. Let me I tell you, but they have to explico. They have to explico. The shit that we come up with, stupid thoughts, fool. Like stupid thoughts. You're like ah, stupid as fuck. I don't know why I'm thinking this right now. The average person is gonna be like, ah, la neta, I shouldn't tell anyone that because they're gonna be scared, you know. Yeah. I'll say it out loud, fool. So now that I say it out loud, you heard me say something stupid. So now you're laughing because it's like, dig, this fool's stupid, but like. People don't want to be called stupid or people are a pero. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you how I handle conflict, right? Let's say we're in the street, right? That fast. We're in the street. You call me, you call me, um, hey, you, hey, you fucking redhead. Yo, primero, güey. And then it's a split second. Am I a redhead? Simon. ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué tiene de malo? Nada. Yeah. Continue with my day. ¿Qué puta? Hey, fool, you're a fucking bitch. Oh, okay. Am I a bitch? What, what have I done? Have I done? Simon, I am a bitch. He's right. Ni modo. I'm going to keep on with my day. Oh, sabes que? No, I'm not a bitch. You know, I'm, I'm not a bitch, fool. Or, or, or fool, you're, you're fat. Oh, no, I'm not fat. So if you're telling me that I'm fat and I know I'm not fat, you're stupid and I win. I could continue on with my day, fool. Yeah. That, dude, you're tripping over something that's not even real. I'm over yeah. here minding my, my own business. I'm still fucking fat as fuck, and I'm still going to go have the best meal of my life while you're over here hating for no reason. Yeah. So to me, when someone says something stupid, it's like, is it true? Yes or no? If it's, if it's true and you don't like it, Bam! Go, no. <laughs> go change that shit. If you don't like it, then go change that shit because there's clearly a problem. You're, cl you're clearly... They called you out on something that you don't want to be. So then why are you? So then don't be it. Yeah. Like at the end of the day, like at the end of the day, there's a difference between going up to someone and disrespecting them for no reason. You're getting like you have to check if someone disrespects you for no reason. But if someone is trying to like, like put you down, for example, you can't let them put you down because you're like, like, don't listen to them. Fool. Uh, especially if someone's trying to put you down when they're mad. You got to think about dick. This fool's talking out of his ass right now. Look, comes in through one year, exits through the other year, fool. Yeah. And and I can tell you something. Social media's fake. Why? Because I'm fake, fool. Trip out, fool. I'm fake as fuck, fool. Because here, here we are, fool. You see me. You see me when I go to events. Right? You see me. You, 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 like, since the first event that you invited me to, fool. How do we meet? 
at the Rezo. Shout out to Rezo. Yeah. Re- at the Rezo mural. See, See right? Yeah, yeah. Like when I post up to, uh, how many people would I pull up with when I post up somewhere? No, nobody. No, my homies, the doves. Oh, no yeah, mas. Yeah. I, alone, fool. Always, fool. Yeah. Oh, always alone, fool. It's better, fool. Yeah. I, I, like it's just better, fool. Like don't get me wrong. There's people that I know, fool, that I invite places and they never want to go. So at the end of the day, it's always alone, fool. And 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 sometimes I um sometimes I ask people just because um I when I don't know anyone there. Like you know, like just pop pop for whatever the case may be. But if the, but they'll be no, and they'll say no, and I'll be like, all right, that's cool. You're complete. You know, I, I at least I invited someone. I, I don't like. I don't. Sometimes I'll be inviting people, and at the at middle of the year, I'm like, ah, fuck this shit. I'm gonna go alone. And I don't. I'm not gonna spend. Sorry, but it is what it is. Look. Yeah, so I, so I always pull up alone, and like I, like I just be like. You tell me if I'm wrong, right? I, I I pull up for and I just post someone for in the corner for solito, right there. And so what? And so someone comes and approaches me and asks me something, tells me something. And I promise you that as soon as they ask me something, I give them the most interesting conversation they had in their life. Yeah. And I could talk to them for 30 minutes, an hour, for however long we're there. I'm going to go home and I'm going to give two flying fucks about what we talked about. One, and unless we talk about, unless we set up some business, you know, we set up some business and we and we lock some shit in. But if we're having a conversation. So that's how you catch his attention if you're going to lock yeah, in business. Yeah, 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 business for yeah, sure, yeah. for sure. But yeah. other than that, if we're having a conversation, don't get me wrong. I, I remember what, what people tell me, but, but I'm sorry, I'm not going to, I'm not going to hit you up. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to be like, hey, we had a nice car. I don't follow up. I don't, you, you told me this shit last time. Last, I remember you told me. I remember when people tell me like shit, shit that like, I know like shit that's true. You're like. I don't, you don't reach out to anyone, fool. I, I don't, fool. I I can't, fool. Like it's just not like it's just not in me, fool. Like I don't know. I like I don't I don't know how to do that shit. Yeah. I I'm learning, right? I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh, there's there's like the when when there's um when when I feel like there's interest in both parties, then it's easy for me to reach out to someone. Yeah. But I don't ask for nothing, fool. Like, I don't want I don't want to ask like, hey, can you? When I feel like, yeah, hey, I can give you this if you give me this. And what are we doing? We're talking business. And what is that strictly business? Strictly business. Strictly business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing else, fool. So, yeah. so I, I could have a whole last conversation with you, and and that goes back to um, for I promise you, you have, we could have a whole fool. You don't understand how many people. Like I meet a lot of people, right? I I, I go to funerals. Yeah. I go to funerals every single day, fool. People trying to have conversations with me about the doves, about everything. Yeah. Fool, I promise you, fool. I'm nice as fuck. I'm I'm nice. I, I could be having the worst, like, and I, and I'll be like, oh yeah, you know that, like, blah. You, yeah. you 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 don't show emotion, bro. I saw I saw that a lot. Uh, I noticed that a lot in you, bro. Like, fool, I've been from, going to funerals since I was 14 years old, dog. Yeah, and it's crazy, but um, you literally don't show emotion, big dog. Cause you could you could go through a lot of I stuff. I do, bro. I do. You but go through not not let that not outside from my dog. No, these but like, walls, these walls were fucking witness for what goes down, full Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pero. But but if, as for, you don't conduct yourself like okay, I'm very, I'm emotional. You know yeah. what I mean, like. You like I told you, bro. You act yeah. mature, bro. Like, but oh, yeah, that's crazy. So, bro. so I have fool. I promise, like, easily over five hundred funerals in my life. Yeah, I believe you. Easily. Yeah, that's just crazy as fuck, fool. And people ask me, and, like, and and and, and every every funeral is different, right? Every every every. It's every one fool, and I I I remember so many of them. I can't remember all of them, fool, but. But it's just like every single one is different. Every and you single and you become and you become numb to shit like that. So mm-hmm. that become and then I feel like uh, that that ha- well I don't know if uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And you, and um, you think that applies to you being really numb to your feelings? Um. Well, it has to. People. People. So people uh, like okay. So I've been to. I've been to a lot of podcasts. Not a lot, but I've been to several. I've been invited to several podcasts. Yeah. This is my first ever episode of my own podcast, Don't Blame the System. Well, Shout thank you guys for thank system. you guys for listening. Make sure you guys subscribe, whatever it is you're listening on. Wanna give a special shout out to George Perez Stories. That was the first podcast I ever done. I done shout out to West Coast Graffiti, shout out to Gen uh Gem Network, IE and Friends, um fucking uh fuck well we just did the the Road Dogs Entertainment. Um shout out to uh, shout out to uh oh I done uh which was is that nah that's not all. there's no way. Oh, shout out to JR and the crew. Oh yeah, you just did just. Yeah, shout out to JR and the crew, well. and then um, I know there's I I, I know there, there there's more. Oh, uh, some some fool, I think something Mexico. Ah, I can't remember. Some fool in New York. We did a Zoom, um, Zoom uh podcast yeah. one time. And people always ask me like, how how does the funeral affected you? Honestly, I've always been like, nah, nothing. You know, like it just it is what it is. 
But when, like, there's times where I think about it, and I'm like, la neta, that shit has to, fool. Like, it had, like it, it did. Like, like there, it has to, to. there has to be one of them. Let me tell you why. That, that, that que te pegó y dices, fuck, this one really fucking hit me. You know what I mean? There has to be one. And that, like you said, you've been already to 500, bro, so I know there has to Look, be one. Que te pegó bien gacho, wey. So, the, probably the, the, the worst one. Which is like out of the question has to be my mom's phone. Which, but that's out of, that's different. That's all different pedal. But yeah. I gave a speech for that funeral too, and we released the does and everything, and and that shit was obviously something else. Pero going to the funeral, let me tell you something. It started off when I was like fourteen, fool. I used to go with my cousin. At the time, we would crack jokes, fool. At the funeral, me and him in between yeah. us, fool. I, I just to me laughing is the best thing you can do, fool. Like laughing to the point where you fall asleep is life, you know. Like that's just like like yeah. laughing uh, to be going to sleep is amazing, fool. Yeah. And, and and I like fucking when I'm not doing that, I don't like hey, you know, fool. I like to work, fool. One yeah. of the, it's one of the other fool. Like like uh, like that's just what I like to do. So, um, I since always since like fourteen, fool. We used to crack jokes, so it it wasn't really that serious at the time. Right. It got to the point where it start, started kind of kicking in, like this shit is real. And the way the way that I can that I can explain how it's affected my life. Twenty four seven, death is on my mind, fool. Twenty four seven, trip out crazy, fool. Whether it be might be this way or that way or whatever this or that, however it may be. Always there, fool. Always there. And that's just like how the fuck do you? I, I don't know, fool. Like, so it's not it's not something that is like that that like. It's not scary, but it's hard when you know that anything like no matter what you do, fool. Like not even money can save you. So, no, not even money can save you. I mean, it's unfortunate. I haven't seen people resurrect. I haven't seen people in heaven. I have. I've only seen people getting buried. Time after time, I seen bodies put in cardboard boxes, put into fucking ovens, literally catching flames full as they burn full. Like, that like that's crazy. just fucking crazy as fuck. Full. Like when you when you hold that dead body full, that's just cold full. Like you see a dead body full. If you haven't, have you been to a funeral? Yeah, bro. A close, close, close relative. Yeah. And and you you touch them. Did you get? Did you go open? Did you see or no? Cause there's a yeah. lot of people that don't. There's people that get close, and there's people that just don't. That they just can't. Yeah. So when you touch, when when you see someone, and you touch them, whether you think about it or not, you know that person is gonna be warm. Subconsciously, you just know that person is warm. So what happens is you touch a body that you think is gonna be warm, and that's just cold as fuck. That's just stiff as fuck. That's just that's the 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 wrinkles. They're they're hard, fool. It's cold, full cold, and you and you're like, oh, spans off. We get a little goosebumps. Uh, working with the does, I go to funerals. I only see. I don't. I don't interact with the families. I I don't see the open caskets. I only go to to sometimes churches, weddings. But you do hear the backstory of it, of the other other people that you release in the does for, right? What do you mean? Like, no, no, no. Like, I never. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I know their name. Okay. Trip out, fool. Every day, I have to remember one or two names and forget them by the next time because I can't fuck up. If you tell me your name, I guarantee you I'm not going to remember until you tell it to me three, four, five times. I prom- I, I confuse people like their names because my, my instinct, as soon as I memorize a name, remember, so so I go to a funeral, I, I have it on my phone. Blah, 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 blah. Every five minutes, fool. Or, or, or like every two minutes, like before they come. Oh, here they come. Let me check the name again. It's this, this, this. All right, they're about to start. Let me check the name again. It's this, this, this. All right, they're finished. Let me check the name again. This, 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 this. All right, I'm going to go up. Let me check the name again. And I memorize the name like, like that, like that. Time after time after time, time, time after time. Yeah. I do the funeral. Yeah. By the next, I have to go to the next funeral after that. I have to completely erase that name by, off my brain or else I'm going to confuse it with the next one. And I can't say the wrong name, fool. I can't. That's crazy. For one time, fool, I went to a funeral recently, fool. Where they hired me personally for my website, fool, from the devguy.com, fool. So, you fools can hire me for a dog release. The dev guy. If it's a little bit too exp- I'm going I'm, I'm to keep it a bug. It's the most professional fool on earth. I don't care what. Look, fool, I've seen. I also record funerals, so I've seen other companies. Yeah. Bullshit. Look, not bullshit, yeah, but, not bullshit, but at the you. end of the day, fool. They don't get down like this one. Seven, this seven. This one look, gives you the whole package. He gives you the whole fucking, the dove guy presentation. Yeah. Let me tell you something. 
I can put the funeral together from beginning to start. Fool, I also worked at a funeral home for like yeah. seven. Uh, no, not seven. For like six, seven months. Oh shit! So I got. So I, I had to carry bodies, pick bot, dig. I, when I was when I was nineteen. That's so you've been trip out. I'm telling you, fool. I was nineteen. I had to pick out, pick up, a twenty-one year old who committed suicide from the coroner's office. Fool, you Damn, have to open bro. the bag. Fool, see all the blood, everything. Check that fool's tag. Make sure it's him. Drive back to the fucking office. She was like. From fucking, from right here, from where the hospital, right next to the hospital, the coroner's yeah. fucking shit. Um, all the way to fucking Santa Ana. It was like a 30 mile, no, not 30, they like 25, 30 mile drive with the, the body right there posted in the bank. See, that's why I feel like uh, that's why you're numb to a lot of shit, bro. That shit's crazy. That shit's you're, crazy. You're, 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 you're already been through a lot I've of shit. I've been to funerals. Yeah. Delicate subject. I don't want, I don't want, I, don't, I really don't want to get into it. You know, our, my condolences to everyone yeah. that, that, from Texas. You know, I'm sure. sorry. Yeah, bro, yeah. Um, I've I pro I've seen funerals like from, from viewpoints. Condolences to everybody from Texas that yeah. lost everybody. That yeah. lost someone. It's yeah. very sorry. Like 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 it's very um death is harder when it's very sudden. Um, and it and is, the and only and thing and I more, can tell you know, and, and more when it comes down to kids, bro. Like, yeah, it's more touching, bro. I have two boys. Yeah. You know what I mean, like it, it hit straight hit me. Like she like that. You just don't do. Yeah. So it. so it's it's um the only thing I can tell the people, which is what I have to tell people every time I go to a funeral. Is you gotta understand this world is really full of pain, you know. This world is really it's really cruel world. That's crazy. Um, the only thing I can tell you is to is to, is to the people is to is to re- like believe, really believe, really, really, really believe that they're they're peaceful, like that like they're really peaceful, like like if they're your kids, you seen them when they're crying, you seen them when they're mad, and you seen them when they're peaceful. Oh you gosh. have to you have to remind yourself and really believe as much as you can that they are no longer crying. They are no longer going to cry. They are always forever going to be peaceful. And it can be very difficult for people who don't believe in those type of things. But you have to understand that even if they're not peaceful or even if they're like realistically, if you believe in like one or the other, right? When we're talking about heaven or hell, you, you got to just um, pray that they're in a good place. And that's going to give you a, a good state of mind. One, two, a lot of healing with death has to do with loving their people while they're alive, right? And 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 right, like yeah. so so just like especially if you're a believer, and let me tell you something because I've been to um funerals from toddlers, f- fucking two. F- I, I went to a funeral one time from a nine year old got, got shot. Like that's sad, fool. Like like I like I like yeah, I see like, 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 like fourteen year olds from c- cancer, like it's just very sad. Everything, fool. Th- newborn star, everything, and and it like. Just know that all babies are angels. If they pass, all babies that pass oh, away yeah, are angels. Correct. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, like, like, so obviously we're sorry for the, for everyone else. You know that was involved. Very tragic. Yeah. But just know that um, all all babies are considered angels. Automatically, and, and you can rest out. assured that that they're that they're um, in a happy place. They're in a happy place. And if you don't believe that they're in a happy place, just rest assured that they're not suffering and they're not gonna suffer again. Yeah. Which is hard, it's hard to get over, and, and it's and it's really hard. But like, and going and to all those kids, and that's what you said. And that's what you said. Uh, it's a cruel world, you know. Because yeah. it is a fucked up world, bro. You know, excuse my language, but yeah, it, and it's a uh, you're on your own. At the end of the day, you're on your and own. And you can think, and a lot of people are gonna and and fool. My thing is, I like sometimes I don't speak. Let me tell you why I don't speak. I speak and I shut myself off asap. So so I I like like I'll be like oh I'm gonna say this but I, I counter argue with myself that's why there's two brains for I argue with myself all the time for nonstop so I argue with myself I can have for what what sign are you huh what sign are you it's, it's like uh fucking thingies yeah <laughs> the birthday yeah I think I'm a Leo Leo okay okay yeah I I don't know. understand I don't believe in that shit I don't know what the fuck that shit is. like neta but <laughs> but so like no <laughs> I don't believe in that shit <laughs> When when I go to a, to a funeral or like a, a talk like it's sad yeah and and I honestly I feel something just by going to so many funerals and knowing that they're not gonna suffer like that's like they're they're good when you see a baby that's sick just know that baby could have been sick for 10, 20 years and you can think of you can easily be like like what I was telling you like I contradict like I can contradict myself like like I can contradict myself and argue with myself all the time like. I don't have kids. Why the fuck am I talking? I should shut the fuck up, right? 
That's an easy argument. Mm. La neta, like, or, 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 or who the fuck is this fool? Or, well, you're or, entitled to your own opinion. Tamir, no, 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 I know. But, but let me explain to you. Um, um, or, or, um, uh, fucking, what was, what was I going to, fuck, la neta se me olvidó lo, lo que iba a decir. That's the fire. Pero, sí, valió verga, güey, la neta, I forgot. No, you're talking about, um, about the kids. Yeah, so, so, like, I, so, like, people could easily say, like, oh, like, well, you know, I have, I haven't, like, no, that doesn't move. I really, really lost my train of thought right there, fool. <laughs> but, uh, like, just, like, like. It's just about, be, you said about being fake, no, about, like, oh, just being, uh. Like, just, just really. You, or contradicting yourself, no? Oh, Simon. So, so these fools are going to be like, oh, like, like, what the fuck? Like, uh, no, we said more otra vez. Alright, guys, this is the first ever episode of the Don't Blame the System podcast. Let's talk about real estate real quick. Who was cracking with that? I think everything's good, man. Everything's good. Um, like, like, um, even you right now, you know, like you're 21, bro. Like, just me being surrounded with people that do like um properties and all that shit, yeah. bro. That that puts me up on game, Tamian, and that's what put me up on game on real estate and all that shit. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, just like I told you, Tamian, off here, bro. Like, you can buy a house. You know what I mean? And I feel like um. Let me, let me let me ask you something. What what tools did you use to buy property that you own? Nah, I'm just uh getting my shit together, bro. Like even like Did you okay, let me ask you something. Did did, did you buy it all cash? Nah, it's all credit, bro. Credit. Yeah. So and how how does how let me let me let me tell you something. How does someone that didn't graduate in high school, that didn't get a diploma from high school, how does someone in high school they don't teach you that shit? In middle school exactly, they don't teach, yeah. they don't teach you that shit. So, so fool, I don't want to brag, fool, but, 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 fool, I know I have a higher credit score than a lot of motherfuckers my age and a lot of motherfuckers that are twice my age. Sheesh, let me just tell you something. I, I really, I really fell in love with, like, with, like, finance shit, and, and I don't have the best, I don't have a fucking 800, I, like, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a bug, but, no, but yeah. a big part of credit for the people that don't know is history, right? And, and I build it since like since I was eighteen, you know, yeah. by myself because my parents didn't have credit. I have I have older sister that the, the, they don't like they don't have credit, um, you know, f- and no one told me this. Shit. No one fucking told me. I swear on anything, no one told me this shit. I had to literally go figure that shit out. I had to literally look it up. I had to look up how do I do this bitch? Like how how, how do I fucking feel credit because yeah. I want to buy because I want to buy a house. Fool, I want to buy a house. That's what I want. And it's, be like, and it's crazy because bro, like yeah, um, it all starts with your credit, bro. Like what people say, you can't you can't have a hundred thousand, bro, to do whatever the fuck you want. But when it comes down to buying shit or anything, you need that credit, bro, to be there. You know what I mean? Mm. You know what I mean? So all that you can have cash and all shit, but you need credit, bro. At the end of the day, and um, it's not like I said, bro. It's um. My I, my I was at a per, I was at a point that fuck my credit score was fucked up. No podía ni sacar un celular, way. You know what I mean? Like, it just. So how did you start? How did you? Build I started your working on my credit, big dog. You know what I mean? I started working on my credit. Started working on my credit, and like I said, I didn't graduate from nothing. I didn't. I, I didn't graduate like. Right there, right there. Yeah. I didn't graduate. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't graduate with the high school diploma or none of that. Alright, uh, yeah. So you didn't graduate. Yeah. I didn't graduate from a high school diploma or a GD. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So. So all that shit. So I just started fixing my credit, bro, and little by little. And one thing, like, bro, like, people, when you get a credit card, right, the first thing you do is um fucking max it out, cause we, you know, like, fuck. But at, if if you get a credit card that like, you get approved for a thousand dollars for a credit, right? Out of a thousand dollars, bro, all you have to do is just spend two hundred. You know what I mean, like, and just keep. Uh, ben, fool. Tell me the neta. Tell me the neta. I'm gonna have to disagree with you. I'm like here. If you get it, looks. If you get a credit. Ponle a thousand. Mm-hmm. Ponle for your Apple so, Apple Music subscription way. Mm-hmm. Let that shit pay off each month. That's all you have to do, fool. Mm-hmm. That's it, way. If you have a bad, if you're like, oh, I can't no, get a because I have no, a bad habit of spending. But what I'm the saying thing is, people can get lost. No, you know, but I'm what I'm saying, out. but what I'm saying is that um, people max out the credit, and like I said, it, when when you do want to go get, apply for a loan or anything, bro, people. The, the, the loan or anything They look at your credit history bro yeah. And when they look at your credit history They look at your shit How much you're spending bro And and if you can afford Whatever you're spending yeah. So with that being said When I say like Try to spend um Two to three hundred bucks On your thousand dollar Approved credit Whatever you got on your credit card That means Try to go by that Now if you do want to Continue to spend more money Then get another credit card Shit like that You know what I mean um, because it's very important that you always pay your shit on time, Tamiya Perito, because 
um, I was always I mean, late on shit like that, but it, oh, affect, it, was, it affects you. you know what I mean? it, it, yeah, it, but now it's different time. Yeah. Dog, you could literally set up everything automatic for No, you yeah, can't everything. Miss anything, and, and, you can miss it. I used to, I used to spend time like, I remember I invested money time in, like, on, on like, people that fix your credit and all that shit, you know what I mean? Like, so, but like you said, you can do that all on your own now, you know what I mean? Like, look, I'm gonna tell you for something. Go on YouTube and look up how to build credit. For all you have to do is you just have to get a, a fucking a secured credit card. All right, you give them motherfuckers three hundred bucks. Pull it. I recommend. I'm just gonna tell you food. I right, look. This is not financial advice. I am. A dub, I am the dumb guy. I'm just telling you what I did. All right, I'm gonna tell you what I did. Trucha. This is what I did. The education. No, for entertainment, not education. Or entertainment purposes only. What I did. You get a Discovery It credit card fool. three hundred bucks. Right. Um, you give them 300 bucks And you're like Yeah I don't have to pay Dude, They're gonna give it back to you For relax You give them 300 bucks And like I said 20, 40 bucks a month You wanna keep it My opinion Under 10% So si son 300 Keep it under uh, 30 A month You let that You let the, you let the statement hit So yeah. it's gonna see on your account It's <laughs> si gonna see on your account 25 Whatever Lo que le quieras poner Once it says that You're gonna set up Your automatic payments To pay on the due date the full amount so for the six months you're gonna get charged let's say you get charged on the first for your fucking i don't give a fuck so amazon i don't care 12 25 dollars fool and like and like fucking every single month on the on um it gets paid off but the thing is if you pay it off before the statement hits then your statement is going to show zero dollars and it's going to show like you didn't even use your credit card Everything's the trick, only bro. thing that don't comes, the only thing that shows is when the start, when the state, when the statement hits. That's when they report it. Yeah, everything has a trick, bro. Like, and there's like people saying tricks, like uh, use your credit card twice and pay it off twice, twice? or pay it off twice your statement. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like little hacks like that. Yeah, it works in the beginning, bro, but it catches on. You know what I mean? And then it, with time, it builds up. Mm. With time, with time, with time, because because it, it just once. So so what happens once you do that for six months or maybe four or five months, whatever. The, if you have a higher income, maybe it's even easier. Maybe you don't even have to do that shit. But when you're starting off like eighteen, fool, you don't even have a holiday, fool. You could still you can literally still do it. You can yeah. you can literally still do it like, and then fucking after the six months they'll be like, oh congratulations, fool, you did a good job. Here goes your fucking three hundred dollars back. And now you now we're gonna give you five hundred dollars full from ours. It's on us. Don't even trip. You can spend them every month, pay them off. If you don't, we're gonna charge you motherfucking twenty percent, twenty seven percent. You could do a lot, and then you could like I said, bro, don't so pay, don't pay. You don't wanna pay the interest either. Nah, and then if you have your, it's just a lot, bro. It's a lot, but yeah, that's good though, man. If you're gonna be smart, if you're gonna be young and smart, invest invest while you're young. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because the real estate, the real estate market is always going up, bro. Yeah, what about uh? So we asked on on, on Instagram is underscore the Dove guy and um the podcast Instagram is DBT system. <laughs> the the it's it's um don't break the system. No, don't blame. Oh, don't break, yeah. don't blame the system. Don't blame, yeah, don't blame the system. Cause f- so people are like, why why don't blame the system? Yeah, let us know why. Let me, don't let me tell you why. And and it's great. Why, why, it's you. very unique the name. Yeah, let me let me explain to you. Me and you, our parents didn't have credit, or I don't know if you're wrong. Fuck no. No one taught us. I could easily say fuck that shit. No one tell me this shit's not for me. Not, nah, um, fuck. F- it's white people have this and white people have that because all right. For obviously I know why I fuck food, but I'm Mexican. So both of my parents are from Mexico. For, I'm first generation also. So, mm. so it's like uh, uh, when we hear from here, especially boy high school style, it's like high oh, school white people because like because they have privileges. Nah, fool, you just got to educate yourself. No one's going to come educate you and, you and 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 you can't put that much trust into the schooling system, you know, because at the end of the day, they want to teach you how to work so that you can have a working society. They want to teach you how to get a job. My, 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 I went to school at La Hoya, fool, uh, high school right there in Boya Heights, fool, in Lorena and fucking Yeah, yeah that's Boya Heights. So look, um, it's to prepare you for um, college, leadership, and life. Motherfuckers did not prepare me how to be a leader whatsoever. For life, tampoco. Fool, valieron verga. Fool, dick. These fools taught me fucking geometry, fucking chemistry. I don't give a fuck. Fool, like, dick, I have to pay my taxes. I don't know how to fuck to do that shit, fool. So I don't have to fucking do research. I don't know how to fucking do a credit. So we can easily sit here and blame the school system, right? Don't blame the school system, fool. Just go out there and learn on your own. That's what don't blame the system means, fool. Don't 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 blame the 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 fucking 
don't blame fine. the system like like or or don't blame don't blame the system can e- the system can easily be um other people that you feel have more privileges than you which whether they do or whether they don't i can guarantee you me and you cannot control what the fuck happens in the but, world but 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 so you don't you mean don't don't blame the system as far as like just in cuz i feel like um us being hispanic and being latinos we do miss a lot on our opportunity just because I feel like our race. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I feel like um, even in the Hollywood entertainment, anything just, just even trying to get the the upper level position in a, in a big, in like in a big quality, uh, big job, you know, like a big corporation, you know what I mean? Like, if you know what I'm saying, you know, yeah. like it's, I feel like it's a, it's a thin line, you know what I mean? Because, um, but let me ask you something. Do you, do you know people that are like, that have done it? Or is it like, no one has ever done it for like Hispanics? Right that, w- that what? Like, like that have, that have been like successful, like large corporate ladders or Hollywood. Or but whatever. that's why, that, and that's my point. Like, that's why when you start your own business, you know, like, just like you said, do that shit just so you don't blame the system. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like keep doing shit. Like, cause I just like, I was just like, um, I was at a point like, I'm like, fuck fool. Like, damn, even the white people, I'm like, fuck, the white people have it better, you know what I mean? Just because, just because they're white, you know what I mean? So don't blame the system. It, it, uh, so it's don't blame the system. Just learn how to play the game. So, yeah. so, so for example, I could have easily blamed the credit system, right? Because, because motherfucking, they didn't give my parents credit. Like, they, how come they didn't send us credit cards to begin with? We were born for, so we could but, have credit. But so, so I can't blame the credit system. Yeah. I just have to learn how to play. Yeah, that's it. I could have to learn how to. Yeah, play. Yeah, like anything's possible, bro. You could yeah. do that shit. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like. You're right. You know, you know, you know when that design on your shirt was made. What happened? That dessert, that design on your shirt was probably made in like December of twenty twenty. This one. Yeah. Well, where we're in right now. June. Um. June twenty twenty two. Yeah. That's how long it took me to to start. Cause I kept neglecting myself. I kept pushing myself back. I kept doubting myself. Shout out to my girlfriend. I told me to get my fucking ass up and do it. That's why I'm doing it. Sure. Literally, she t- she was like she was like. So when are you going to do it? When are you going to do it? When are you going to do it? Shots. And then I, I got mad and I was like, you know what? Fuck you. I'm going to do it. So that's why I fucking did it. That's right. But I was pushing and my, and because, and because, and, and you want me to tell you why? Because of those two brains. And he did call me. He called me. He's like, hey, Mike, you trying to do this episode? I'm like, hey, As soon yeah. as she fucking, oh, I'm I'm I didn't like, feel, I'm I didn't want to feel like a bitch, fool. So I was like, you I'm know like, what? I'm going to do it, fool. And then. And thank you for fucking. Um, inviting me for being ah, the first sure. guest. And no, and, and yesterday, yeah, I don't know, we're full, we were doing the Bobby D shit, and then the Palazzo guy. Yeah, anyway. Shout out anything. to Blanca from Bobby D. Yeah, shout out to yeah. Blanca. Shout out to uh, all the sick ass people. Full shout out to um, shout out to Rich from LAFC for hooking it up with the ticket. Shout out to Fools Gone Wild. Shout, shout out to Rendo. Shout out to Trash Pack Boys. Shout right. out to Commitment Shoulder. Uh, not Shoulder Soldier. Shout out to um fucking a bunch of fucking sick ass dudes that have always showed love. I'm a, I'm a person that to be honest, I'm very friendly. I don't have friends, so. Like you know, I, you know what my father told me, bro. Wait, um, my father, I don't my, remember what that fuck told my, me. My father told <laughs> me that um, there's no friends in life, bro. The only friends you have is your money. Oh, I thought you were going to say your two balls. And, 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 and that's real shit, bro. Like, um, yeah, that's true. You're, you're on, yeah. yeah, you're on your own, bro. Like, este mundo, there's no such thing as friends, bro. Like you said. You can't depend on anyone, fool. Uh, me, fool. And, and just like, maybe maybe what you were trying to t- say, Tamien, is when I do when I do things, fool, I don't expect anything, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I put that in my head. Like, I don't yeah. expect shit, like, in return. You can. I can, bro. Th- let me tell you something. Why? And we were, I was about to say that. When you expect something from someone, you're going to get disappointed, fool. A hundred percent. And it just, it, like I said, it just fucks with your head. And I don't, I do everything out of love, bro. And then nothing in return, you know, I expect nothing in return. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that, that's that's one thing I learned, fool. Like, you don't want to get disappointed. Just don't expect anything for anyone. It's good to associate yourself with, with people, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's going to help you move Build forward. connections. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, that's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, social network. And um, that's what that shit's about, bro. Same here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So full. I want to give a quick shout out before before you. End We're this about sh- to rip this shit up. Uh, shout out to um, big shout out to uh, one of my main sponsors that were when I first started, bro. Um, Bolchewear. Shout out to Bolchewear. Um, shout out to Articulate, Theo Weso. Shout out to Luis's Project, the Calaca Homies. Shout out to uh, Blanca, Tambien. Um, shout out to LC One. Shout out to Juan Avila 
from Salinas as well. Hey, shout out to the Dove guy, bro. Appreciate you, big dog. Nah, thank you for having me, fool. But we're not done yet, fool. Cause first of all, fool, you you so you have to uh tell these people, fool. How can they how like if you feel comfortable before we leave, sharing a time where you felt like so lost or or you felt like you fell and you had to pick yourself up, fool. Like if you can share a time where you just like. Where you were like, no, mom, it's like, I don't know if I'm going to make it through. Or or a lot of times, fool, people, you know that, you need, people feel like they don't have a reason. Because cause, cause what they have going on right now, they don't like it. And they're like, fuck this shit. I want to dip. What do you what do you recommend? Are, are, are you talking about just in general or just in... Um, Whether it... Yeah. Just in general, like in life. Because look, let, let me go, tell you something. Yeah, life gotta, can get overwhelming when, when you... When you um put like everything together, you know? Because I can... Like you can be like, oh... Like, for example, on relationships, or for example, on work, or, or but life gets overwhelming when when you put friendships and and, and work and and fucking mental health, and then you put everything together. That that's when shit starts to get hard, and you're like, "Fuck, why am I doing all this shit for? What do you have to say for those fools?" Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you. Like, like, oh, see, up inside, he's gonna think now, dog. Nah, like when I when I got like um. Not down, fool, but when I got, like, a reality check and shit, it's, like, when I, my first born, bro. Okay. When my first kid was born, I was, like, how am I going to provide? You know what I mean? Like, how old were you? 20, 23, bro, 24. So you were working construction? Yeah. But Here. Like, but mind you, you got to put yourself, like, how, you know, that, that ran through my head. I'm, like... Why the reason why it ran through my head, bro, and it put me in a position like fuck, cause you can deal with yourself, you know. I can deal with my, you know, like my girl, you know. I can deal with myself. But now you, now as a kid, now you want to overprotect that kid, like nothing happens to that shit. How is he? To that shit. <laughs> I, I mean, my bad, <laughs> my bad, Spencer. But like to your kid, bro. You know what I mean? Like, so that was running through my head, like, okay. I gotta have something for in the future for him, you know. I gotta set a, set a foundation for him, you know. What I mean, I, I gotta make sure he doesn't struggle like I did, and 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 I don't mean I like I, I struggle. Now, nah, shout out to my parents; they provided whatever they can, you know. What I mean, like they did what they had to do to keep kept me alive, and they did what they did to be the man that I am, you know what I mean? Like, pero that ran through my head, bro. And, I, and at that time, I was like, "Fuck, how am I gonna do it?" And then. Boom, just, just staying solid, bro. Staying solid to yourself, you know what I mean? And anything's possible, bro. So, yeah. Style. Thank you, fools, for tuning in to the first ever episode of the Don't Blame the System podcast. You guys can go ahead and check out this podcast, Don't Blame the System podcast, on all the digital platforms. So, shout out to Mike for coming through. Shout out to you, my boy. It. Appreciate you for inviting so me, big dog. you guys want to go ahead and support the fucking the podcast so we can we're gonna go ahead and bring more people we're gonna ask them well first you know we're gonna get to know them a little bit and then we're gonna ask them some motivational shit so that's the whole point of the thing you know dumbing the system is we're gonna learn how people overcame you know certain obstacles instead of just blaming those obstacles and not continuing on with their life so yes sir yes sir so i think yeah that's it if you want some dust make sure to go to dubguy.com if you want Mike to build a house for you, just DM that phone. <laughs> nah, and then, um, yeah, man, if you... We need promo uh, services, too. Yeah, if we need promotion on, uh, on Instagram. Hit us up. Hit us up. I mean, the dub guy got a fucking package for you, big yes, dog. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If, if you guys want a promotion, anybody wants promotion, man, hit us up, man. Hit up the dub guy. You guys see what we do, man. We go we go out of the city. We go. We just went to San Diego. We did a couple skits out there for the homie at Tu Taco. Yeah, we got a... I actually got a vlog on coming out on that Shout soul, out to that so vlog. You, you got down, out, cool. You folks can check out the YouTube channel is The Dove Guy. And we're going to go ahead and upload that TikTok, The Dove Guy, too. All right, for I'm making this shit too long. So thank you, folks, for tuning in. We're out of here. Muchas gracias. You folks stay safe. Yes, Later, sir. haters.